Hey Libra gang gang, part three Libra, I know it took me a minute, but you know I told you I have to understand what I'm doing as well, okay? So yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, as y'all take time to die, Scorpio transformation, and y'all bear with me, okay? And then I'm going to coincide the Libra and the Scorpio together, okay? <laughs> so let me read a little bit. Uh, it says if the Scorpio card comes up when you are being tested, you may feel isolated and on your own without much sympathy or help from others. If so, it is time to stand on your own and fight those forces gathered against you. You will likely win and come out much stronger and happier than before, but it's still an intense time. So I'm going to show the, um, I had to move stuff around a minute, man. Verb taught. So. Like I've been saying, I know it's a little wrinkled, y'all, I'm sorry. But Scorpio is in every chart. Scorpio is in the 8th house. And Libra, you're right by it. So she's a cuss of the both as well. Okay. But this is Scorpio house. She has Taurus here, but this is Scorpio house. And uh, Taurus is opposite Scorpio. So she has Scorpio in the 2nd house, which should be the Taurus. So, yeah. Uh, let me finish reading. Uh, da 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 there are, I'm sorry y'all about the noise, there are a number of positive changes with this card. You will soon gain that, gain what you have worked so hard for. This card implies karmic issues, even the resurfacing of past life reconnection. So many of your relationships now will be of a karmic nature and thus be tried as well. Your life may seem like a trial. I've been trying to avoid that stuff. Okay. Matters involving inheritances and money make fu for future in such as uh, her heirlooms, legacies, and what comes through family or people you are tied to from your deep, deep, deep past. You may have to deal with someone who may plot revenge over something you may not be guilty of it could also be a time where enemies surface so you would be wise to protect your reputation man i'm going through that strong strong and sexual attractions may arise whether wish wish for or not obsessions are possible it is wise not to get wrapped up in intrigues with people don't know very you don't know very well or have known for a while a short time do not attempt to maneuver or manipulate anyone as this will surely backfire on the positive side now is the time to be resurfaced and guarded that which you have worked for and romance is your question expect it to be transforming and not something you can leave aside in some cases, your partner may have been aloof or hard to reach, and matters may erupt into unexpected passion. If surrounding cards indicate that something that things will pro progress, this may be one of the most important and transforming relationships you have ever had. In dealing with jobs and careers, expect intensely restrictions and demands. Sometimes when this card comes up, it indicates you will be going through a period of deep self-alliance. You may seek out a profession or you may work through this time alone by reading or, or through reflection. Be careful when it comes to finances in areas such as taxes, property, and shared assets. You could have resounding success or tremendous losses currently. But the message is to take your chance, then stick with your decision no matter what. You have the ability now to make it work. Scorpio card in brief. A new thing born out of something thought dead. Resurrection. Love born out of depths of passion. Charisma. Desire sex. Glutters. Sewers. Uh, stagnant waters. Funerals and graveyards. Ghosts and hauntings, banks, inheritances, money, or goods from a dead relative, the taboo, the unknown secrets, blessings in disguise, a ther therapist going into the depths, Hades, 
Salome, Adam, Autumn, hen things die off. Homicide, uh, suicide, seeing into the heart of matters, being wise, not suffering fools, argument, but with caution, resentment, serenity, hidden aggression, enemies, secret or open, psychic energy powers, curses, magic spells, uh, metaphysics, vampire stories, everything, anything Egyptian, being innocent yet accused, feeling lonesome, aloofness, being single, singled out, not being left alone, um, stalkers, past lives, the idea that death is never final. Boy, yeah, I'm going through this. Now I'm going to put the Libra and the, and the uh, Squip together, okay? How we coincide, because we're so similar. We're very similar. Uh, sign change, Libra melts into Scorpio. Sign changes are somewhat dramatic. We tend to feel uh, astro astrological influences the most in our in their beginning stages. A new energy enters our field of awareness. It had as if an unseen visitor has entered the room. Perhaps someone who recognized, but we haven't seen them in a while, and we're both changed. Such a transition from Libra unto Scorpio. Every sign in the Western... I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Let's continue. So such is the transformation for Libra into Scorpio. Every sign in the Western Zodiac is radically different from the last. Aries, impulsive fire, becomes Taurus, slow, slow, methodical earth. Taurus becomes Gemini, swirling air. Gem Gemini becomes Cancer, reflecting water. The archetypes build on one another with mute maturate maturation and greater complexity a sign is absorbed and transmuted into the next of all the sign changes the transition from libra into scorpio always feels the most pronounced to me this is the change of fall into winter the celtic new year the time when the veil between worlds is the thinnest also known as sam heathen the time when souls who have made their transition from life enters in masses to their next destination. A time of great transference. Libra is a cardinal air sign of re relating. Marriage, law, justice, harmony, beauty, peace, art, uh, culture, taste, and balance fall under the jurisdiction of Libra. A finality sign of vacillation and weighing, making small talk and dancing around and around at society's ball. We pick apples, go for drives, look at leaves with friends and lovers. Her winds swirl and blow just enough to begin gentle, gently knocking the leaves off trees as they change from green to a breathtaking expression of pleasing beauty. Oh, the aroma, the, the delicate, delicate scent between harvest and dem demolition hangs in a tantalizing balance of sweetness and soil between life and death. It sweeps Scorpio in all rootless and realness. Fixed water sign of depth, penetration, transformation. Colorful leaves swiftly fall to the composed against the earth. We all bear our branches and trees, naked and swerving against impending cold, wondering aloud what kind of winter it would be and whom will survive. Scorpio is a sign of survival. There is a deep prim primary quality to Scorpio and its ruler. Pluto, whereas Libra enjoys surface imagery and perhaps to keep things light, Scorpio sees far too deep to be satisfied with superficial amusements. Scorpio demands we cut the crap and acquire our, ourselves with the underbelly of existence. Sure, the leaves were pretty for a minute, but what lies beneath? What is the value of death and regeneration? 
What is the enduring quality deep within the sustained substance all exists? What is the most essential? Here is our time of illumination. That's what I'm on, y'all. Scorpio is known as a sign of intensity, drama, and crisis. This year just passed a new moon eclipsing Scorpio, flanked by Mercury and Venus. I dislocated my finger. Another friend transmutely injured her hand, and an acquaintance lost a relative. Siblings were scattering their parents' ashes. A woman discovered she is battling cancer. I lost two of my friend and my mom this year, y'all. Digging deep, Scorpio is simple, the sign that gets us most in touch with the re recesses of being of our beings. Nothing like death, sex, intensity, drama, crisis, disease, injury, mystery, and intensely focused investigation can take us so deeply to the doorway of our true self. <coughs> Excuse me. The mystery leads us to mis mastery. Total illumination of exists leads to discovery of essence. Scorpio is also the sign of inheritance, merge, resources, and taxes. I go even farther and say taxation in general. Often we won't go to the harm, harrowing depths of Scorpio requires within an impetus like crises, illness, or other taxing ex experiences. Scorpio and Pluto can also provoke intense tunneling vision like obsession or compulsion that drives us to pursue our experience, something resently until, resently until we merge with its essence nature and it is then time to unbond. It takes serious gut and gentle ruled by Scorpio to face the ghost Scorpio under earth. Bringing your own mark to the surface of inspection and transformation is often so easy task no easy task ghosts cannot hide where truth abides shedding light and having the courage to remain frank in your honesty is key to transmuting the denser aspects of your nature here's the chance to merge with the raw power of life and death a portal okay so I'm a, we're gonna go off into um Venus and Pluto, okay, and Mars, okay. Okay, let's just a little picture of uh, Pluto, Venus and Pluto, okay. So we got the beauty and the beast in our love relationship, okay. Interesting stuff. Love is one of the most potent uh, things of life and relationships are the cardinal element that creates our karma. In any relationship, there is an un undoubted quality of pushing for power, and sometimes this can become an, an unhealthy energy where the lovers take on power plays. Okay, frequently giving one the sweetheart, one of the sweethearts, an extensive amount of control over others life so Libra we have to be careful of that okay no more of that love self work money pleasure and sex are all related to power while romance love may or may not have a sexual result it always has a sexual atmosphere the denying and giving of sex could be used to dominate specifically by the partner who has less monetary resources sex also originates issues of body image another topic of self-worth that may obstruct the path to a strong and healthy sexual relationship sex as a control pattern defiles sex a pleasure rule everybody knows how important venus is in a relationship particularly the sens sentimental ones the true challenge in a romantic relationship comes from the spiritual commitment to another person is such like cardinal manner. So you know we all, everybody has Libra in that chart. Just like Scorpio I showed y'all, it's right here. She has it over here, but it's here. So the opposite is Aries. So there you go, Aries and Libra. She's got it upside down. 
but this eight house seven house is libra eight house is scorpio like i showed y'all taurus is second house and aries is first house so we're opposite okay so that's that mars too we can have that mars we can act like scorpio <laughs> don't get it twisted um where did i stop that everyone knows how important venus is in relationship i think i did that pluto brings growth and challenge through the principle of letting go when the lovers accept karma and are ready to control confront plutonic shadows the relationship can present the possibility for deep personal transformation because pluto lessons of admitting what we cannot modify and learn to let go is one of the most essential teachings of all pluto and venus are not adversaries while the beauty comes face to face with the beast they instinctively recognize that one is the com complete complement complete complement of the other pluto is about uh in the dark and it has the capacity to teach us more about ourselves than any than any of our planets so true Relationships are one of the most forceful and direct ways that we have to cope with hidden sides of ourselves. Not only, uh, you know, sexual, but all kind of relationships. Venus to the Romans is Isatar, I-S-H-T-A-R, to the Babylonians, and Aphrodite to the Greeks. The mythology environment of the, this planet is certain, certainly female. Whereas the moon portrays the maternal aspects, Venus symbolizes women in the character of maiden. The most enchanting and beautiful goddess, when Aphrodite appeared on the Olympus, all the gods wanted to marry her, provoking the jealousy of the other gods. Jealousy is well known for ruin, ruining relationships because it con commands to exhort control and dominance resulting in irritate irritational behaviors irrational behavior sorry Af um, aphrodite had the respons responsibility to extend the species for that reason complete completion was included in her performance package sometimes lovers found the relationship more alluring when the rip when people's feelings could um you know people be involved okay to avoid further demeanors and difficulties zeus married married uh Ap um aphrodite to i can't pronounce his name a-t-p-h-a-e-s-t-u-s -E the club-footed craftsman of and god of force this was a settled marriage one between the rep Reputous God and the most beautiful goddess. In some versions of the story, so this is Beauty and the Beast is about Libra and Scorpio, okay? And the most beautiful goddess. In some versions of the story, it is said that she didn't care about marrying him because she might have more freedom, you know, to do what she needed to do and, and her for, um, infidelity. So I don't know about all that. Aphrodite also valued the uh, sorceries he gave to, uh, you know amenities he gave to her just as countless women have remained married for the economic benefits so don't marry for money libra <laughs> i know we want somebody well off don't get me wrong and we want to be that way as well okay so nobody controlling nobody aspects to venus will reveal how comfortable we are accepting what we have been given by others and the position in the natal chart show which method we select to make others happy it shows where and how one seeks happiness by sign has a bearing on our self-worth chiefly in terms of whether we feel magnetic lovely captivating and desirable to others the word charm means magic spell to charm someone is to fascinate them personally to provoke them to be in love in Aphrodite mode, if she or she are charming, we en enchant and maybe bewitch the other person. So I say we're not far from Pisces, from uh, Scorpio. And when we think we are likely and lovable, we are less uh, predisposed to feel meant by possible rivals. Venus, as the lesser benefit, can be associated with money and our values. When we are 
nicely paid we sense we are valued when we are in love we value our partner our skills can make us more esteemable and amiable but also have the potential for stimulating and awakening the envy of others greed is one of the negative traits of venus and we can find advance behind the overly indulging venus venusarians behavior so we know we got taurus in now okay pluto known as Plutus to the Romans, which means rich one, and Hades to the Greeks, represents the urge to regeneration, eliminate and bring the superficial situation so that may be transmuted into a new source of power. Pluto is reputed, reputed to deal with karma. Hades was the god of death, fertility, and abundance. He was wealthy of unjust justification over the priceless materials, gems, metals and matter breathe within the earth so he had charged all the minerals okay the well-known story when hades did risk above ground was when he kidnapped his niece p-e-r-s-e-p-h-o-n-e perspone -E, when she was out selecting flowers hades plotted for a different new flower a narcissist to rise up in front of the pretty young girl, the earth opened and Hades showed up in his chariot and took her away. To survive in the real world, ingenuousness and purity must be abandoned where, wherever Pluto is concerned. This myth is about the, the girl growing up and losing her innocence. Hades knows how to handle situations to his own benefit. He is strategic and know how to trick while the pure and ingenious person is susceptible insusceptible and defenseless the street wise person is potent effective and cannot facilitate be manipulated or destroyed describe a higher octum of mars pluto is mostly interested with survival whereas mars fights to survive the fashion of pluto is merely to extremity when the plutonium plutonium power is, is liberated there is not going no going back pluto functions in sex spin and around what is regarded as taboo in ex exact culture and time mistreat and absurd are in included for sexual abuse is above all the abuse of power pluto is power powerful aspect of the unconscious mind it challenges us to look profoundly into our subconscious and to eliminate or reform whatever was confirmed and validated of obnoxious uh, distasteful distasteful pluto by house describes where the regeneration actually takes place the more we fight it and try to restrain it the more burdensome conditions become pluto may seem to cause death and this devastation it rises again out of the ashes and the old, like the phoenix symbol to which is uh, equated. This planet brings transformation. It can be perceived as a link of force between two borders. It is Pluto's job to cleanse and purge beliefs, attitudes of belonging that restrict growth. Okay, Venus Pluto contracts can indicate serious power issues mostly implicating control through sexual expression this quality like a, another red flag of negative pattern in sexual relationships or a lower lover whose sexual performance is harmful to the union power issues are very objective and have a ultimate uh out, ultimate uh, outcome calmly at a high cost relations in its earliest stages may finish in a power struggle until the person learns to share power in a balanced way i'll show y'all some pictures so we can be just as ruthless anybody can but leave it real close to scorpio so don't get it twisted okay oh, let me show y'all some pictures hold on so yeah this is the narcissist flower it's beautiful ain't it <laughs> you got a lure her in it's scorpio i'm pretty sure she fell in love with him okay scorpios are irresistible you know just don't want to play with them 
And Libra, you know, we can be uh, something as well. So we have to be careful, Libra. <laughs> okay. They're very charming, and so are we are very charming. And, and we shouldn't play. The snake shouldn't play. Oh, you shouldn't play with the snake. Put it like that. Okay. Because uh, that L on that Libra. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a snake, too. So, whatever. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I hope it made it made sense. And would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And I'll be going to four. So this one was time to die, sculpture transformation, Venus and uh, Pluto, and uh, yeah, I think of another name as well. Okay. All right, y'all. I'll be uploading in a minute. All right. Take care. Love y'all. Be right back.